right? One, two, one, two. Collective. What's good with you? It's been a minute since I did a collective reading, right or wrong. So we're going to get into that and all that. You know what I mean? Slight my fire real quick. And all that. Get my dragon's blood lit up. You know what I'm saying? My little incense and all that. What's good with y'all though? Now look, I may curse, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars because I'm nice and all that, but we already know that, right? Enough for me. Enough for me. But if you need anything from me, products and services wise, like readings and stuff like that, right? Stuff that I have to offer. You can go to the description box and everything will be there for you. And I mean everything. And my website, all everything. The website link has been back added to it. So you could go really see the totality of all of the things that I have going on. My website is being revamped. I just realized how much extra work I could put into it. You know what I mean? I wasn't pleased. I've seen how much, you know, additional things that I can do. So that's being worked on as we speak. Um, I got new decks, y'all. I got new decks. So you got to understand, I'm very hype right now. I'm very hype. I got mad, wild decks. And I just, yo, I'm in... I'm like a fucking kid in the candy store, but you understand? So, yeah, we about to get into this. Um, shout out to the gifted two. I fucking love your ass. You know what I mean? Like, hmm, that part. And um, yeah, I just, I just love it, B. I'm in fucking yo. I'm in heaven with this shit. Um, also, hold on, let me get to this too. I got a gift here that I want to put on display as well. Now. If you want first, I got to let me shout out the black owned businesses. All right. This business is black owned nature, the label. All right. Let me see. Hold on. See that the K is silent. You know what I mean? Can we can you know what I mean? Can we get creative around this piece? The K is silent. That part you heard. And um, yeah, if you want jewelry like mine, look at this piece. Look at this piece. Her. You know what I'm saying? If you'd like jewelry like mine, then got the number 11 here i'm a master 22 builder you know what i mean for overall got the number 11 here and all that you know what i mean um this is this pendant right here this is actually called the sacred spiral you know what i mean so you know the sacred spiral is in the middle this is handcrafted by hand each piece you know what i mean so it's real it's deep and i'm, I'm saying black owned right i'm not trying to be prejudiced or racist or discriminatory or nothing like that but i'm saying this I'm saying this with proud, with with pride. You know what I mean. I'm saying this, being proud. You know, um, people segregated us anyway, and this is you too. Whatever race you are, with all of these check boxes, whatever establishment we walk into, or whatever, you know, establishment wants our demographic, demographical information, right? So it's like, yo, it's like I know that y'all like all of the, or should I say, y'all know all of the criminal you know, characters that we play and the roles that we play in society, right? Our mythical people and all of that. Y'all know the names and the statuses of all of those people, right? Can we get seen in another light? Can we be proud to be in another light? You know what I'm saying? And when I say we, I mean black people, you know what I'm saying? We are out here with the bootstraps pulled up and stuff like that. And y'all don't got to wait until it gets a crisis and so another crisis to start, you know, hashtagging black owned business and contributing to black owned businesses and you know making your facebook filter black owned shop black owned you don't got to make it a trend with us all the time you know what i'm saying it's like we know who we are we know what we do or we know we know the large emphasis and the impacts that we can have on people the human anatomy you know what i'm saying the human race so it's like um you know like i said if but y'all got it we got all segregated and stuff by these check boxes and these categories and stuff so i like to see us be proud when we can too you know what i'm saying we out here buying each other's products you know we might have to work on them getting the people overseas to do customer service for us and all that but we be getting there too you know what i'm saying we'll become the biggest greatest corporate owners eventually as well you know what i'm saying and this is how we start so that's why i'm putting it on a line like that or putting it out there like that you know what i'm saying you can celebrate us for doing things that are great um being great americans being great wherever country you're in you know what i'm saying and doing you know just doing productive things and these 
stories sometimes come from redemptive backgrounds and all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? It's just not, we're just not known for criminal stuff. It's pretty much what I'm saying, you know? And don't that look good on me? I mean, let's just keep it a bean. I mean, is we keeping it a bean or what? You know what I mean? Like, stop playing with me, yo. Nature the label. So, yo, look, if you want jewelry like mine, you can also find a link to the description in the description box as well. You know, to rock what I'm rocking or whatever the case may be. So, let's get into this reading, you heard? Long intro, but definitely worth it, you feel me? Um, I'm starting with, no, matter of fact, I'm going to start with the Jungian, Carl Jung, Jung, Jungian uh, Archetype Oracle deck by G.O. Giacomo Guccinelli. I right, feast your eyes on that. This is Italian. I know I know the background. I know that name. That's Italian, baby. Alright. I'ma start with this. And then we're gonna work our way into some more another Oracle deck, the What's the Vibe deck. So yo, look, if y'all see me going on like a frenzy of doing mad reads back to back, y'all already know why it's because I got mad decks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got mad new decks. I'm putting them to use B like that's you don't understand. Like I, I love this, I love this shit. Um, but yeah, let's start with this, right? I'm more, I'm more pumped up and giddy, and I should be. You know what I mean? I should be. Like I got good reason. But spirit, give me the power. Give me the, give me the opportunity. First of all, give me the blessing to be able to communicate these messages to the collective, to the collective consciousness, to the collective subconscious. Let me connect through the synchronicities. Give me the message that needs to be delivered to the ears that can hear. And let this be timeless in any case or most cases or however you deem it fit. Um, yeah. Spirit, what are we dealing with here? What are we dealing with here? So how's everybody doing out there, though? You know what I'm saying? Y'all could say hi. Y'all could wave in the comment section, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of those people that be like, oh, you're using emojis. You're corny. Like, nah, I do what you feel. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're going back to, like, Egyptian-type times anyway. They was just stamping shit with emojis back then. You know what I mean? You seen the emoji, and he was like, yeah, that they good. You know what I'm saying? That was the face card back then, the emojis. Do your homework on emojis and sigils back in the day. Just keeping it a thing. New decks. This is one of those new decks that shuffle perfect. Stop playing. I might have to pick a card because ain't nothing just, you know what I mean? Spirit ain't sending nothing now. Spirit just like how I grip. Pause. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut and then get to it because... Spirit of the times, the spirit of the times, that is the, what do you call it, factor at hand right now, spirit of the times, Ooh. okay, what else, what else, spirit, what is, how do we feel about the situation right now, how do we feel about the situation right now, the herald, okay, these cards are probably going to have me dreaming heavy. The way that they look is just wild. They really put in work for this deck, yo. And this is the fact that to consider. The Fool. The Fool. Okay. I'm going to get some definitions from the book for this. You know what I mean? I'm going to take my time with it. Take my time with it. So, y'all hang out. Y'all hanging out, hang out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hanging out, hang out. Let's look at the spirit of the times definition. Spirit of the times. It will not be monuments more enduring than bronze and taller than the vertical piers of the pyramids pointing to the sky. Not the great stone machines where the princes of the faith eat flesh and drink blood before a solemnly chanting crowd. Not the hard-working cart, cariatids, cariatids, excuse, excuse me if I'm butchering that, um, holding up the temples that will stop the inexplorable flight of time. God competing in antiquity with love, delivering the aged soul to the Acheron and death equaling, listening slowness and care, its handmaidens, its enemies, necessity and urgency. Time works on the mortal and at the same time on everything. Wind that swells, bends and steers the sails of the world ship. 
formidable failing storm and breeze from which no one escapes. Every great machine of man has within it the face of time that tells and breeds a spirit that expands and contracts that destroys and returns only light ashes to the splendor of the world. Rebels cannot help but stand outside time. Hmm. I hear you. I hear yo that I'm gonna get to my clarification of that in a minute, but I'm glad y'all heard those words which sound very poetic. Some of those words I don't even know the meaning to, but I can like gather what they into. Um let's see how we feel about the situation so I could give a better clarification, you know? I think if I connect the dots I can understand more better what's going on going on here in this storyline so let's get to the herald how we feel about the situation every change in the fate of the celestials and the history of mortals which repeats itself in a cycle through the ages announces the herald messenger with a powerful voice and golden trumpet blast a varied and multiform creature a massacre that annihilates people in revolt a sudden storm that shakes ships a ring in a magical artifact the herald separates the quiet and luminous before from the uncertain and dark after he tears the veil between the horizontal and blue world of birth and the oblique purple and black descent the prime motive for every change it transforms the soul who accepts the adventure with fear and hope the journey and the descent into the underworld between the lakes of ice and sulfur into the horrid deep belly of the mysterious monster as the eternal child hermes the messenger he flies and swiftly breaks through the subtle limits of the worlds his is a siren song calling to the souls that listens vocal prodigy in the circular changeless world he reveals to the dormant soul the luminous paths of no return the journey begins for those who cannot return. Yeah, I see where this is going. I feel where this is going. This has a lot to do with rebellion. This has a lot to do with thinking outside of the box. And how, how profound to have the full card is the fact that to consider after reading all of this. It's like, are you, are you for real? Yes, we're for real right now. I'm already in. I'm in oh, my God. All right. Let's get to this. Let's get to this full definition. I'm pretty sure those of you have who have frequented here. Um, oh, and it's written in Italian. Let me find out. I'm about to learn Italian. Italiano. Forget about it. All right. The fool. In the blue circle that closes and delimits every creature prone to the laws of the gods and nature. And excuse me. An ancient force that pacifies opposites, the fool, an unpredictable and different god, breaks and disrupts the oblique motion, the limits of the material world. He attentively observes and listens to sounds and voices unknown to others, eagerly sniffs the elements and speaks unheard. He stings the proud ruler and laughs at life sarcastically, innocently, uncontrollably, an ancient and ever-renewed soul. He lives the game as a child, oblivious of the limit and the smoky thresholds of Hades. The madman with the pink and white face knows about illusion and chooses joy to celebrate the wonders of life, accompanying himself to the formless and primordial chaos to Dionysus, who mutates into an animal into the Maenads, the Minots, who shout out in the orgy and dismember the poet, the mad soul, jeez. Fuck that orgy. <laughs> All right. The mad soul raises expert of the world its own asymmetrical inclined tower. A picarist loves life and does not fear it. He invites to the joyous and normless celebration to dance with hands in the air into the drunken and disharmonious song, oblivious and distant from the law of the ruler. Breaking the rules is the best way to know the shape of our soul. All right, so all three of these cards, I told y'all what's, what's going on here, all right? After hearing the definitions, after seeing the order that these cards are drawn in, when we talk about the factor at hand right now is the spirit of the times. We're talking about, literally, the spirit of the times. And the spirit of the times right now 
it could mean a lot of different things to a lot of to 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 a lot of us, right? Um, so I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all some streamlined definition of what that is. I'm feeling not led to do something like that. Um, and also when I look at the card, it's like, it's an individual soul thing. So you see how it's got like this magnifying glass over the sun sun ruling over individuality and ego the self so this is something that you have to discover for yourself we're all here to do what we're here to do and sure we will meet people along the way but the spirit of the times has something to do with how you are impacted and affected by what's going on not for nothing so i overlooked this before the moon is there too Let's not ignore that or skip over that or let that fly over our head, which it does, but you get what I'm saying. Um, this is something that you have to identify for yourself, collective. What is it that has you spiritual right now? There are things that are occurring in the world in real time that are impacting you and affecting you right now. And this, these might have been things that have happened maybe five years ago, maybe 10 years ago, but they're like ever growing or they're still there. They're still evident. Some of you are politically charged more than others. Those things are rising to a point right now because of the times. But what's being shown here and being told here is that the spirit of the times goes outside of that. So as they, as they was mentioning how bronze withstood and endured all that time that threw at it, the same way that the pyramids have withstood all that time that threw at it. Um, everything physical, tangible, is shaped and formed and molded and dented in some type of way by time. And what I'm feeling here and what I'm getting from this is it's no longer time for that. Whatever your individual journey is and how you're feeling spiritually led by it, it's time to think outside of the box. It's time to maneuver in ways that are unfathomable to the average mind. And I would say they're prob it's probably the way you go about doing this is probably going to expand into the minds of other people now because that's part of the spirit of the times. That's one thing that I can say in this reading is part of spirit of the times is that people are going to be more open-hearted and more open-minded and receptive to what other people think and what they have to say when they give their time to actually listen to it. And you know, the attention span has shortened, so it's going to be like, ah, not my thing, not my cup of tea, not my channel, I'm out of here, kick rocks, get out of here, that's not my thing. It's not happening, right? Granted. But others are going to tap into what they do want to hear and what they hear, you know what I mean? And they're going to be like, yeah, this is my type of thing. Put that in my feed, like it, put more of this in my feed. When it pop up, this is the type of time that I'm on. That's the spirit of the times. That's where we at right now because because of the Herald being how you feel right now, you're learning how to communicate that. So the Herald, um, you know, the, the Mercury, the messenger God, is ruled by this card, obviously, from hearing the definition. And it's like, see how they're playing the flute here? I like the airplane hat, too. That's like the the airplane hat from the, from the 1940s, I think. I like that. Um, so that's probably significant to some of y'all. Maybe y'all want to take a trip. That's going to be by plane. Maybe some of y'all just... Maybe some of y'all used to rock the fatigue hats back in the days. Remember those? I used to have a few of these. When we was rocking fatigue suits all body in New York, they would have the airplane hats that go with them. It was like my favorite hats to wear, I kid you not. Um, so that may be a nostalgic feeling, or maybe some of y'all are feeling militant right now, I'm feeling. Yeah, that's what it is. Some of y'all are feeling militant regardless. And that can look different for some of us, again, depending on what how you identify with the spirit of the times. What your journey is, is how you feel militarized by it. And in modern times, I'm feeling that being militarized can come in the form of being vocal. 
So me just saying what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Me saying black owned businesses and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Don't wait to the crises because, yeah, we built the White House and, um, you know, then we raided that motherfucker too, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying we raided. You see, then, you see what I'm saying? When it comes to color and the segregation and all that, like, yo, are we still going to be on that or are we just going to realize what we got going on? Or is it just too late? We've just been too ingrained into what our culture has done for the past amount of years to where it's like, okay, we are who we are, right? We're stamped to be who we are. So can we can we all be proud of who we are? Can we all just do our thing now? Because it's like we sounding we sounding the trumpets. We're sounding the trumpets. We're being vocal about certain things now because we may, I think, I feel like this is a, for a lot of us. Like, we may have ignored a lot of things, even political things. Like, I tell you, I'm not the most political person. But it's like, uh, I'm sitting here, like, literally, I'm sitting here and I rubber banded some political mail that has been sent to me. And it's just like, they always get sent to me and they're just like tossing it. But this time around, I'm just like sitting here and I glance at it from time to time. I put a rubber band around it for a reason. I know I'm going to get to it. I don't know exactly what that reason is yet. But I've been having a couple of political discussions behind the scenes and with people who also don't agree with politics. Like they're not political either. But yet somehow we're talking about politics. I think it's something about that too. That um, people are feeling more freer to sound the trumpet on what it is that they believe in, what they believe. Um, and this is this there's this type of hovering that is like, well, what the what was we waiting for this whole entire time? Is what I'm feeling as well. That's how y'all are feeling right now, collective. Why were you waiting for so long? Was it really fear? Maybe, but was it really fear, or was it just the times, the spirit of the times? See, we could talk about this whole age shift thing. Y'all hear me talk about it here and there. Y'all hear me talking about it more and more lately. Yeah, Piscean age over. Aquarius age is here. You see traces of it here and there, but you're going to see traces of Pisces energy no matter what for the next 12, 2,500 years because the age that we're in kicks up the characteristics of the sign that is after it. So you're going to see it. I could, you want me to start sounding off stuff? Because I could, you know, get in the comment section. I don't want to dilute this message. If you want me to sound off stuff that's relative to Piscean characteristics being shown more that we're in the Aquarius age. Yeah, I can do that. Um, some of y'all are writers. Some of y'all are speakers, whether it's motivational speakers, whether you are tower readers, you are um, channelers, you know, something to do with the voice. Some of y'all are musicians, rappers, singers included. Um, some of y'all are poets like slam poetry is what I'm hearing these are all some of y'all are just musicians with the music too the flute here I the flute is the first instrument I ever played I was I was six I was seven years old I was six or seven when I started playing the flute I was put in music class I was put in flute class specifically. I already had a music class, but they put me in flute class in addition to that. Um, wow, that's when I first started playing music. And then I went from flute class to the piano class. This is starting to get a bit personal. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. The fool card got the number 22 on it. I said, I got the 11 on my chain, on my necklace here. And it's like, yo, I'm a 22 life path. Um, master builder, master number. Um, so it's like, yo, look. This is where more of the freedom to voice one's opinion. And even, like I said, in a militarized way, some of y'all are just walking the way that you walk, talking the way that you talk, dressing the way that you dress, showing up the way that you want to show up, despite what anyone or everyone has to say about it or what their opinion is about it. Um, and that's how the fool rolls, you know, the fool is like, because in ancient times, the king used to let the fool do its thing. Any other person that behaved like the fool would be beheaded, would be tortured, would be killed, would be done dirty in front of public crowds to be made an example out of. But the fool 
is the one that got the pass because the fool just naturally knew how to not give a fuck anyway. And they made a living out of it. This is when the king would just let the fool run wild and go through the through the courts and rank and snap on any and everybody in the in the in there in the castle purposely for entertainment purposes you know um so this is the factor to consider here like in order to build it this time look yo <laughs> the bottom line is we are in a time of rebellion y'all we are in a time of rebellion and again that's going to look different to a to a lot of us different aquarius age one in one in another so what I'm also feeling is that there have been things that you've been wanting to speak about. It's like me talking about dreams in some of my videos. I know they don't get a lot of views. And I'm just like, so what? I just keep doing dream videos here and there. It's just like, because someone watches them. That one to five to 10 people that watch them, it's like, you know, if anyone, com if anyone comments on them, if anyone resonates, it's like, yo, Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You can do... Someone's watching your dream videos. You know what I'm saying? Someone's tapped into it. That type of thing is just like, yo, you no longer feel that what you do is going to be ostracized. As a matter of fact, some of you do feel that way right now. And that's why the fool card is in the factor to consider. Some of y'all are rigid in your stances. And... Because you're like this. Your attitude is, I do what works. Granted, like like we told in business, follow the result. You can't argue with that, right? It's like, yo, something works. It's so, keep doing it. Why change? Granted. But the fact to consider here is, when you're rebelling, and I said this, what reading I just did, I was talking about war. And I said wars, I think it was my last video when I was speaking about is intelligence the enemy of primal instinct. And I said wars are just manufactured these days for the most part. But then I had to catch myself and say, except for the revolutionaries, those people who are rebelling and, you know, murder is bad, period, right? Death is bad, period. I don't want that shit to happen. But I also got a Venus and Aries. So I'm very understanding of things like that. And when you got to rebel because it's what you got to do, like there is no other alternative. They have locked you out of all spaces and graces. It's not a fantasy. It's not a facade. Like these people are oppressing you blatantly and everyone knows about it and no one's doing anything about it. You got to rebel, B. You got to rebel, B. I see instances in my life where I see I got to rebel. So I'm just keeping it a bean. I see, like, I'm telling you, this reading is pretty personal with me, collective. I don't know about y'all. I actually, I do know, I do know. This is personal for y'all, too, but it's just, it, it, it determines. Because I got to make sure I say this correctly with the herald being in the, the way we feel about the situation. It's whether you choose to identify with what you should be rebelling about. That's all it is. I think every individual, individual freedom, independence, that's all Aquarius energy. Thinking outside of the box. And it's kind of like, it's kind of weird with Aquarius because it's like, you know, Pisces is outside of the box. Outside of the dome, should I say. Yeah, outside of the box. But Aquarius kind of is too, because we get astrology from Aquarius energy. So it's kind of like God's language is layered on top of Aquarius for us to receive. So we got to at least be at that level. I know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sounds like I'm forcing astrology on you, but man, the things that you could learn from it, if you chose to dive into it could prepare you and prep you for any rebellion you wanted to to utilize and i know some of y'all might be like well why you better be careful saying this on youtube and stuff like that they're going to take this video down or and i'm like maybe maybe not 
They've done it to me before. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be afraid. It just is what it is, B. I'm telling you, I'm even coming into the to the realization that some things just need to be said, B. Some things just need to be said. I don't care about cancel culture and stuff like that. I don't, I don't care about that shit. Like, I'm a Pisces, B. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a bean with you. You know what I mean? I might lose a few dollars in the future because of what I said in this video or in another video, but that's not the point. I said what I said, and whoever got to hear it when I said it, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing. So now let's get into some more tar oracle cards, not tarot cards. I want to bring out another deck. You can get deeper into this. What's the vibe? I'm bringing out the what's the vibe deck. Um, just look at the front of that. I don't know who necessarily, who made this? I don't got the um, author's name on hand right now, but you know. Shout out to the author of this deck. You know what I'm saying? I feel of new decks. I am in heaven. Listen, I'm telling y'all, if y'all see me just blowing up your feet, I don't know. I don't know yet, but y'all see me. My videos just blowing up your feet. Read after read. Bars of nice. Y'all already know that. Then you know why. It's because I got new decks, baby. And I'm ready to play. Uh -huh. Okay, we got two cards popping out. Stuck, no options, unforgiveness. Trapped, trapped, stuck, no options, unforgiveness, and burned bridges. Lack of trust, disloyal, turned back on. Mm. Give me more, give me more, give me more, why? Why is this energy out here, spirit? I mean, it's pretty up front, but why? Nurturing, mentorship, wisdom, giving back. When I say why, when I ask why, hmm. I feel like somebody that has contacted you feels trapped. They're the one that is stuck and feel that like they have no, no options. And you've determined that, that they feel that way because they are not willing to forgive. That's where the burned bridges came from. But it might be a feeling of them not being able to forgive themselves not really forgive the others because I feel that the bridges that were burned between this person that you know um, came from them actually being betrayed in some type of way. You're giving this person mentorship. I don't know who this person is, but this is, I'm picking up on this strongly. You're giving someone mentorship. They're coming to you for guidance. They're kind of like coming, they're kind of like venting to you. I'm going to keep it a bean. And they're telling you things of you know hurt and pain through people you know how people can be and the way that the story unfolds is you're even like damn that's bad i wouldn't fuck with those people no more either those are the type of good let me give you another matchbook you need another matchbook because um yeah my flame is dancing right now so yeah you need another matchbook because we <laughs> Got a candle just dancing right here as I'm saying this. But you are actually the mentorship, the wisdom. I think they come to you because you found out how to get over the same type of thing. And this is your way of giving back to people who encounter the same type of people problems that they're going through right now. Chaos. You're a master of chaos, upheaval, disaster, downfall. Something may even be coming. You're a master of chaos. What I mean by that is, so like I said, in the times of crisis, right? You don't got to wait till then to start shopping black owned. Um, it really was a trend. It really was a fad. 
when I reflect on it. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say that word on this video, but y'all know a particular time we just got past and it was a fad. It was a trend. It was trending any, everywhere. And I tell you like this, right? Not for nothing, myself included, made a lot of money during this time because it was like, listen, everybody wanted to know what's happening. What's really going on? Like, you hear me? What's really going on? Behind the scenes, what's truly going on? And researchers, we were out here doing our thing. Spiritual people, we was out here doing our thing. And I, it's not like I was, like, tossing ads out there and doing fear, monger, fear mongering content. It was just like, yo, I was just organically doing what I do. And I was getting read after read after read after read after read. Yo, I was in here like, like yo hitting people up like yo i need another day <laughs> give me another two days i got you though i got you you know what i'm saying like that's how real shit got and yeah i made a lot of money but it was like yo it was chaotic as fuck outside in new york be like it was bananas out here yo and i'm just like caught up in the thick of it in the middle of it still going outside and all that but still like observing and being like well i'm about to go back in the lab because um yeah tempt me with a good fucking time we can't be around each other fine <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Let me go back to my cell. Cell block one, open the door, please. But this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that this person is also contacting you because of that. You have the prowess to navigate through chaotic situations, chaotic environments, chaotic times. The spirit of the times. Something may be coming, y'all. I said this in another video. And I'm not trying to fear monger you. Like, I'm serious, yo. I don't know exactly what it is. But something may be underway. I think, um... And this is what I'm saying. You might not be the most political person either, yo. But I kid you not, there's something about me that's actually wanting to get politically involved. Some type of way. Probably not in your average way. Or how you hear about it, you know what I mean? But some type of way, even if it's just to spark the discussion to get the collective mindset going. Puzzled, confused, perplexed, conflicted. So I'm picking up that this is actually you, collective. But... All right, the whole confused, being confused, being perplexed, being conflicted. You're telling yourself that you have to put that behind you. In, in, exchange, in exchange for being puzzled. The reason being is it gives you something to look forward to when it comes to research. It gives you something to look forward to, to learn. Because if you have all of this stuff figured out right now, you're going to miss the blessing of learning. Point blank period. And I know that can sound trying because you want clarity. Something that recently happened or recently has been said to you has perplexed the fuck out of you. It has you conflicted at the moment of what you are going to do, what you want with what you want to do. But yet, the arrow going forward is saying to be puzzled. Going forward, be puzzled. <laughs> you have to have, and it, I pulled it and it came right on top of the 22 fool card. So it's like, be foolish in a way. It's like, be ready to be puzzled and step into the unknown. Step into something that's like a jigsaw puzzle and you need the other piece in order to fit it in. Pause, because that's crazy. But you need that, you know what I mean? Um, man, I do need to learn Italian. I should. Dealing with this deck, I do. Because they got like Italian words printed on them and stuff like that. So that'll be fun to keep using this deck. I love these decks, yo. That's my word. What else, Spirit? What else? Look at me. I'm thinking about using other decks too. I'm going to try to keep it limited. I'll be back, though. I got, yo, I got decks, B. 
I think I'm gonna pull some tarot out too though. All right, what we got here? Sipping. It could be tea, as we see. Bars are fucking nice. I got tea right here, but I'm fucking nice, and we already know that though. Um, but rumors, gossip, being nosy. You know what? I ain't gonna hold you. I've been feeling like I'm hearing gossip. Or just not me personally, not gossip, but just people being nosy. Um, and I'm feeling like kind of tickled by it. I ain't even going to hold you, you know, because it's like, I eventually know people are going to do what they, what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Or what they feel they should do. I've been having a couple of dreams too. And it's just like, oh, really you? The fuck was you at? But, you know, and then all of a sudden you get a text from here, a call from there, and you're like, what's going on? You know what's going on. People want to know what you're doing. People want to know what you're doing. It's rumors, too. Oh, those things. What I can tell you, and this is resonating with me a bit, so what I can tell you about this card being drawn here is that this is when you see the, or when you hear about rumors about you, or when you hear people are talking about you, even when you just feel it, you don't necessarily know it. Just know that that's an indicator of you obtaining more success and what you're doing is working. And I would advise the high road, you know, but that would just be me speaking in vain. I'm not feeling to be told that or anything. I don't know how you're going to handle the situation. This speaks volumes, though, the fool card and being puzzled, just walking into stuff. And I'm not saying to be naive and blind, but do have a carefree attitude when it comes to the rumors and the gossip. Like, man, I don't care about that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep walking off the cliff because I have to discover some things that I'm puzzled about. I have to get the other piece of the puzzle. And that could be why people are talking about you because they dare not. They dare not to make those type of challenging moves to get an additional piece of the puzzle. One more card, Spirit. What, what other card do I need? Do we need? Does the collective need from this deck? Legal, lawyers, court, paperwork, dirty little secret, sex fix, down low, and love affair. Oh, jeez. This shit just took a twisted turn, didn't it? All right. So someone that you may have dealt with may be bisexual now or just flip the switch completely just jumped on the other side of things now this could be your baby mama this could be your baby father this could be your husband this could be your wife your ex-husband your ex-wife um whoever that you're still dealing with paperwork type wise they may even um they may have even done this when they was with you and you may have not known about that. But this is what's being brought out now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we. I'm pulling the tarot out after this show. Stay tuned. If you up with me, you up with me. If you fuck with me, you fuck with me. Bars are fucking nice. But this shit just... So look, this came right after the rumors. Gossip, nosy. I got the tea out, y'all. I'm sipping tea. The card is sipping tea. So it's tea type shit. And then these cards pop out. For some of y'all, it may even be that this gets brought up in court. I don't know how that really goes. Like, I don't even know if that's possible. Like, you could be like, oh, you know, they were having an affair with the other sex. And, you know, that jeopardized my health or something. I don't know if you could bring that in the courtroom or not. But I'm feeling that. Like, that might have something to do with something. Or... The person involved in these uh, sex fixes are actually facing legal repercussions behind them. Jesus. And if not, for some of y'all, this is telling you to be conscious of this type of activity. Um... And I don't know if all of these things tie into each other in a fixed kind of way. Dirty little secret, sex fix, being down low. But I would say for those of you who are 
together, like together with someone, to be conscious and aware of that. This could be you, this could be your partner. But those of you who have already gotten out of a situation or a relationship like this, again, y'all may be still in a courtroom working out some paperwork and stuff like that. You may not have been aware that this was happening when you were with them, but now it's being brought to the light. People are gossiping about it. People are telling. So, you know, like Pluto and Aquarius, the exploitation, the excav. The excavation of information, the information age, Aquarius information, it just keeps on going and keeps on going. So it might be one of those things like who's next to sit on someone's couch and spill a beans type thing, spill a tea here. All right, so I'm going to pull some tarot. I'm going to pull some tarot. I want to get more personalized about this stuff. You heard? Um... Pull from this deck. Spirit, give me more insight into this. Queen of Swords out on the deck. You want to look at it? This is a beautiful deck, too. So I got decks on decks on decks. I'm fucking popping right now. All right, Queen of Swords is out here. Strength, ambition. I'm feeling that this is you, Collective. This is the person that has actually triumphed over the relationship. Um... Could have been seen as the person who lost in the relationship something, whether it was emotional value, sentimental value, uh, status in some kind of way. Experienced some type of pain, but actually came to a sobering truth that actually made you more powerful. And you're realizing that now. But I'm also getting that you're not allowing yourself to love again because of it. Because you are so well-versed in emotions that no one's about to play with you. Got the hanged man popping out in reverse. Hmm. More spirit. Give me more on this hanged man. What? Eight of Cups. Before you let yourself be bombarded with what's going on i get that this little dirty little sex secret thing going on and all that stuff is um this might even tie into what the person who came to you for spiritual guidance for nurturing is into or involved with they may be actually going through this and that may be the betrayal that they were speaking about and why they had to burn bridges with people because they're going through the same exact thing that you went through or something like that and you're telling yourself, look, yeah, I'm I'm the queen of chaos and bullshit and I've overcame all of that and I'm stronger now and you're not about to sacrifice yourself for the fucking thing that's going on. Like, you're not going to be a poster child for it. You're not going to be a, um, you know, you are who you are, but you're not going to allow yourself to be engulfed by it. Um... Because you're leaving that part of your, your of your life or you've left it already and it's just like, no, you're not going to bring me back into that. You see how this octopus is like grabbing onto the, the tentacles are like grabbing onto the cups and you're like, nah, we about to change this whole shit. I ain't grabbing on to nothing because it's like they trying to pull you right back on the chariot. You're in motion. You're not. You're not suspended in. You're not suspended in air, waiting to be somebody's scapegoat or you know what I'm saying. Temperance, pouring into yourself right now. Yeah, um, I think what's happening right now is actually triggering for you, and it's 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 getting you to go into yourself and realize. It's triggering some dark shit in you that you realize that you've got to um, still work on because it's like it's like the saying goes, you know, as soon as you think you're out, they try to pull you right back. They try to pull you right back. And sometimes those clutches come in the forms of communication like it's like, like the situation at hand, the herald, the messenger guard comes Everyone's blowing their trumpet. Everyone's blowing their flute. Pause. That sounds wild crazy, but I'm serious. 
And it's like once you get wind of it, it's like, oh man, I was a part of that, or I was a part of that type thing, or I was, you know, I was just there. Why I had to hear that? Oh, they coming to me because I'm a seasoned veteran. That's right. You know, I'm the. It's like the survivor in the movie that the the wise sides that they go to, like in the middle of the movies, and it's just like, what do we do, wise one? We've heard you've been through it, and it's just like. You, you love that part of the movie because it's like they got this whole mysterious vibe going on with them. Like, what do you know? What did you go through? And then they have like a, a flashback of what the shit that they've been through. You know what I'm saying? You like one of those, yo. And now you're realizing like, yeah, I got I to gotta keep a upkeep though. I got to keep a upkeep on myself so I don't get s s s swallowed back into the... Hey, yo. You get what I'm saying, right? Um, Spirit more though. More, 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 more. Um, because you still need guidance too is what I'm picking up on. So you're not that whole puzzle thing. You still need to be puzzled too. You still, despite how many come to you, you still need to go to something or someone else too. You still need guidance too. Whether it's spiritual that you can't necessarily see in the form of a person, you got to be more spiritual about it. Or if it's your angels, your earth angels communicating with you. I get that these forms of communication, they're coming in waves that are sectored like in groups. That every group doesn't qualify to be in every group. See, yeah, this is a, this is a story of heartbreak and betrayal. Heart, heartbreak and betrayal. Um, so what I was saying was these people that come to you... They're probably, they may not be your immediate group that you confide in. You understand what I'm saying? But they're part of the group that confides in you. Does that make sense? Um, so now you're like, okay, well, where do I go? Because now I'm feeling some shit again, too. And I need somebody to kick it with. Or I need somebody to go to. I need somebody to... Ten of Pentacles came out in reverse. Be aware that you're this thing that you're experiencing, these triggers, you are allowing it to interfere with um, having a great, fortunate future with someone, um, family included, prosperity. Um, it's interfering, it's getting in the way. Just keeping it a being. Just keeping it a being. Telling you what I've seen. Um, it's this. Two of Swords, yep. You need to make a blind decision, but it's kind of like you know this already. Coming from the Fool card. You know this. This is a choice, a decision that's a rebellious choice and decision. Because that's the vibe of this whole... This is, this is not your average reading, yo. This is all coming on top of three rebellion cards. People are experiencing betrayal. There's all types of twists and turns. There's dark sex secrets and habits and, uh, you know, you're a fucking emotional warrior that thrives in chaos and you've been through relationship shit and now you're faced with a choice and a decision, but you're triggered at the same time with stuff. And you're trying to keep it all together and you're trying to be strong because that's how people look at you. And not for nothing you are, yo. <laughs> not for nothing you are. Spirit, what else I need? These two right here. The Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands in reverse. So what I'm feeling here is something that got you inspired um that requires travel has been postponed it has something to do with career too so it's like you was about to take a business trip and now it's delayed i'm not saying it's it's delayed i don't know if it's totally thwarted but it's delayed because something needs more development one and three is four something needs more structure Five of Wands, and you got to take action in order to get it done. Um, there's competition involved. This could be in the business, too. But I'm hearing that defense wins games. This applies even more to the structure 
the law and order. So whoever you is going to make this trip to and do business with, you want to find out how their things are structured. If you if this is something that you don't know, you'd want to find this out before taking the trip. I'm feeling like that's why the trip is delayed because I'm feeling when I when I see the, the three and the one that makes four, I'm also picking up on pentacle energy that takes more time, but also pentacles energy that calls for organization, being organized. And with too much wand energy, it's like jumping the gun. We got the ace of wands, the three of wands, and now the five of wands. There may be a competitive side to this business that may have not been uncovered yet. Or it is visible and you're, like I said, you're just all offense and not defense. And this person I'm getting also is kind of like a slimy, snaky dude or chick. And maybe for good reason. Snakes also mean health and wisdom. You know what I'm saying? If, we, if this was in India, you can't really talk about snakes bad in India. They'll, they'll, they'll chop your hair off in a movie theater. You know? Watch how you talk about the Nagas type shit. Um, but, yeah, they may have a sly or cunning way of moving because they are aware of this. But the way that they go about competition and competitive industries, monopolistic economies and stuff like that is different than your average. And they don't always communicate that to people. So I feel like, hold on, give me more spirit. And I, and I, I feel like you're more charged and inspired about the visible part of it without knowing the, the roots of the structure. You understand what I'm saying? And you could benefit from knowing but it's like one of those things where with this snake, I'm just getting, if you don't tap in, and I mean tap in by asking about it, they're not going to tell you. Three of cups came in reverse. I get that this is not something that you tell your girlfriend about, your man's about. Like, yo, I'm going to go check my man. We're going to do some business. So I'm going to go check my homegirl. We're going to do some business. Nope. Or even on the phone, yo, let's have a conference, three-way conference. It's going to be me, you, and... Nope, no third parties. This is very matter-of-fact stuff. What else, spirit? Talk to me. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. No third parties. The fool came out again. This time it's in reverse. No third parties, but your counterpart is very important. Meaning, yeah, you're in a rebellious vein. We all are. We're all rebelling against something and for something. Something has led you to this. Something has led you in chariot style into this thing that you're inspired about. But it's more along the lines of business. And I think business is like. In this reading, business is the flip side to the fuckery, the fucking that you've escaped already, that you've dealt with, you've actually conquered. And this is why you're a seasoned vet and why people come to you, you're a nurturer in some type of way. And now you're looking to do more business because it's like, ah, that's your outlet, that's your thing. But when embarking on this business venture, you need to know, or you should know more before involving yourself heavily. And in order to do so, it's like the first time the fool popped up was just for, in general, things in your life that you need to rebel for and against. But now, this fool energy, when it comes to business, you can benefit by linking up with other people. But you got to do it in a way that is very direct. So, like I said, no third parties, but the fool in reverse says that you do need somebody. It's getting kind of... I don't want to say it's getting kind of confusing because it could be just one other person. Like I said no third parties. It could be the person that you're going to see for this trip. But if you're on some old, yeah, I'm bringing my mans with me and all that, they're going to be like, yo, who's your mans? I don't know your mans, though. You get what I'm saying? I don't know your mans. Like, I'm not talking to your mans in them. What's your mans in them doing? I don't even want to know what your mans in them do. King of Swords in reverse. That's your man's in them. This is your man's in them right here. You 
You see, because your man's in them, they think they are an influencer. They think they're ambitious. They think, but it's really like, it's, they're not who they think they are. And it's being shown to not let them fool you or the person that you're trying to link them up with. This gives me the vibes of like, you know, I've been in these situations before. And they're like, yo, you know, I think you would do real well if you met this guy, this so-and-so and this, that, and third. And I'm just like, ah, how about no? And I don't know dude from a can of paint, you know what I'm saying? And call it what you want. I just be getting hunches, yo. I just be getting hunches. I be knowing when, who, and who not to, yo. And I'm just like, who? Sometimes it be a name for me. I just hear the name. I don't even got to see the person. I be like, who? What's their name? So-and-so. You ever heard of him? Nope. And I think I don't want to hear of him either. No disrespect, but I'm good. What made you come up with that, though? What made you think that, though? You know what I mean? Because... That's what I'm picking up on. Your man's in them, they not they not built like you built. I don't know how they they not built like you built. You qualify and they don't. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Spirit, do we have any more to say about that? Who's that page of wands? I feel like this is what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like that person, your man's in them, or your girls in them. Who think they qualify, they know how to talk the language. You understand what I'm saying? So they gave you a piece of information that could sound like they're fit too, but it's like it's only page level. And I don't say this, sometimes the page level can be great when it's drawn into row. But to be pulled after the King of Swords, this tells me that this was a piece of information that tried to sound qualifying. It's like that. I, I I even get the vibe of like. I don't know. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse was kind of like on some wannabe energy. It felt like. So the information that they gave, I'm I'm feeling like. They may even have like a little secretary or something that does research for them that dug up this information to like pitch to you, and now they sound like. But it's like, nah. And it was like in, in opportune timing because you're setting up a trip to go somewhere and it's just like, think twice. You might want to rethink that. All right, one more, Spirit, one more. What, what, what else should we know? What should Collective know about this trip, this communication, the person who is kind of like faking? Or not, they just don't, they just don't got it. They just don't qualify. What else should we know about this business venture? Um, I think we're going to end it there. King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So I feel like you're going to intuitively know how to carry this out. And that intuit that intuition is going to come from your empathy. You're going to be able to hear again the language or see the body language of this King of Swords in reverse again to know what you got to do. You're also going to hear what the person that you were going to travel to. You're going to hear the language of them to empathically know what's going on. You're at the end of the road for something. You are. And what I'm seeing is it could put all your anxiety and worry behind you. But this is also about communication. This worry and anxiety is coming from miscommunication or non-communication. Like I said, you, this Ace of Wands... If you don't ask, they don't tell, yo. And like I said, you qualify and all of that, but it doesn't matter to that person. They got like this way of doing things. I ain't gonna hold you, it's pretty stubborn. It's pretty stubborn. You see the way that they're locked around? This, this, I think this is what drawn you to them though. 
Because this Ace of Wands is like presented to you to feel fiery and inspired to make a move and do something. But the way that they're locked around that, pause, because this is just looks all and sounds all kind of crazy, but I'm serious. They gripped around that real tight, and that's what drawing you into this person. They won't budge. They won't move when it comes to this shit because it pertains to a solid foundation, law and order. This person has rules when it comes to certain stuff. They know how to go around stuff, but that's part of the program. And it's kind of like they can't really explain it unless they're asked. It's like a ritual. It's like a rule it is. And if you don't ask it, you're going to be stuck in this position. What I'm seeing and being shown here is that you got to be you got to be more communicative if you want to stay out of this this mental anguish. Because that's why the trip's delayed. That's why you got this uh and I think the 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 want to be king of swords in reverse being involved, make the gender fit the way it's supposed to fit. I think that's adding on to the delay. Like yo, you got to get rid of your man's in them. I'm just being. A, I'm just keeping it a bean respectfully, though, in a way that is respectfully. Because I'm getting this card is sticking out from under all of the cards. This five of wands is telling me that uh, the competition. It's not a dangerous one. Which I sense is good. This is the type of competition. You see, you see how I was talking about debates and politics? It's that kind of competition. To where wits, a battle of the wits can actually be very instrumental, very beneficial. Which is usually not seen. I'm getting more along the lines of information, whatever this business has to deal with. And usually... When you're, when you're looking to be entertained like the fool did, then you're not looking to be hearing people debate and be in competition in that kind of way. However, the spirit of the times is telling us that the fool is reincarnated in some type of way. It's, it's, it's revitalized. The fool is now a warrior. The fool has now embodied, there is no kingdoms. The fool is really now free to just roam. I'm picking up Joker in my mind. Like the fool is free to like really be on some questioning whether the good guy's the bad guy, the bad guy's the good guy. I'm picking up on anti-hero vibes. Like you don't know if it's the villain, you don't know if it's the hero, but it damn sure ain't the hero. And it probably damn sure ain't the villain. It's just anti-hero because... The hero is always some old, oh, matter of fact, I'll go do this. And you're just like, really? Something suspicious about that, too. Because you got some dark, fetish, kinky shit going on that you about to be in the courthouse for. Superman. Type shit. So this King of Cups. What I can tell you is this. When you communicate... Charisma. It's either you're going to be communicating. This might be the person that you're going to meet as charisma, but they're also warm hearted. They know about empathy. They vibe off your vibe. They pick up on how you picking up and then they exchange value with you based upon that frequency. All right. And this is how they open up to you. This is how you open up to them. This is how they get you to ask the questions. This is how you get to trust enough to ask the questions that are necessary for your next step in the business world. All right, I'm going to leave this right here, Collective. Deep reading. Um, I like it. I love it, as a matter of fact. Like, I love my decks. Um, until next time, which is probably going to be... <laughs> rapidly coming pause because that's crazy yo all right i'm out of here